Okay, so you could use the area model. I showed it to you. But this is the much more common way that you're going to see multiplication solved. We solve this vertically. Okay, now I've been picky since the very beginning with multiplication that we always start with a number that's right there. So we're going to start this the way we started one digit times two digits because that's what we're doing. We're multiplying this ones place. Two times four is eight. Two times three is six. All right, we finished the ones problem. But <clears throat> now we're going to multiply by a multiple of 10. We're going to multiply by 40. Can you see that I'm multiplying by 40? And we know when I'm multiplying by a multiple of 10, that zero, the number is going to end in zero. So I'm just going to put that placeholder in the ones place. I'm going to put a zero here to remind myself that I'm multiplying by 40, not just four. And then I'm going to put a zero right there. Then I'm just going to do the one digit problem I created. Four times four is four, eight, 12, 16, six, carry the one. Four times three, four, eight, 12, plus one is 13. Now I've taken apart these two problems. I did the ones place and the tens place. I've got to smush them back together. Let's add them up. Eight plus zero is eight. Six plus six is 12. Three plus one is four. And bring down that one. Ones, tens, hundreds. Now, let me quick show you the area model for this. I'm going to take apart the 34 and the 42. Okay, so here it is. Do you see my problems? I've got 40 times 30 and 40 times 4 and 2 times 30 and 2 times 4. So let's quick do all this math. Okay, 4, 3, 12, 4, 4, 16, 2, 3, 6, 2, 4, 8. Now I'm going to add all those together. 1,200 plus 160 plus 60 plus 8. You're going to get 8. Can you see that? I don't know if you go down that low. Oh, you do. 6 plus 6 is 12. I'm going to put down my 2, carry my 1, 2, 3, 4, and bring down that 1. Boys and girls, look. It's magic. I don't care if you use the area model or two-digit vertical multiplication. You're going to get the same answer. And I'm going to be 100% honest. This <laughs> is by far the most common way that you are going to see two-digit by two-digit multiplication done. If you show this to your parents, they're going to look at that and go, that's not how I used to do it. No one taught me this when I was growing up. But it does make sense. I'm taking apart the tens and the ones, and I'm doing smaller problems, and I stick them back together. It does make sense. It shows me the thinking behind how I do this. Okay? Today in the rotation, you are going to be solving two-digit by two-digit problems.